guys, um, Remy LaRogue here for my first uh, full review. And to start off, uh, I think I'll pick my favorite piece of my collection. That is the Sideshow Premium Format Cyclops. Um, so, what can, be said, what can I say about this piece that hasn't been said already? Um, well, probably not much, but I'll give you my own personal opinion on the piece, considering um, Cyclops is probably the second favorite character in the X-Men. Um, first being a tie between Rogue and Gambit, of course, by the name, Remy the Rogue. Um, I'm going into it, um, give you my background, love on Cyclops before I get into the piece in full. Um, like most kids, uh, I started my love of X-Men with the animated series, which featured Cyclops as a prominent character. And this features the Jim Lee costume design in its fullest, and I must say, this is probably the best Cyclops piece on the market. I know some people like, like Bowen, and I'm not hating on Bowen pieces, I own a few myself, but just the sheer size and the pose and just the sculpting on the figure is just flawless on this. And the light-up feature is also a, uh, a cool little bonus. So starting off with the head sculpt. Um, head sculpt, really, really great head sculpt, capture Cyclops in and probably the best um, true to life likeness, if that makes sense. Um, it doesn't look overly cartoony. It really doesn't look like a actor rendered PC either, which is just pretty awesome. Um, I have a few minor paint errors on mine, but it's nothing to complain about. Because well, you can't really tell unless you're sitting as close as I am to the piece. And when is that ever going to happen? Um, going down. So what I really like is just the the way they sculpted his neck piece of, of the suit. Um, it looks like leather or something in there. Um, it just looks awesome, and it's a stark contrast to like the blue spandex suit. Um, I'll insert a few close-up pictures to uh, illustrate exactly what I'm talking about. And then something you can't miss is the jacket. Um, it's the uh, mixed media element of this statue, um, of course as it is not sculpt, it is a real cloth material. Um, much like the Rogue Premium Format, which I'll get into in a later review, it was slightly difficult to get onto the figure, but once it's on there, it's it's snug and it's not coming off. Um, which is awesome. It's hard to get over his big, massive biceps. Like, good god, who thought Cyclops would be that built? Um, moving down, just the, the harness he has is just fantastic. It captures the X logos and and just like the way it's sculpted, it, it sits right on his body. Like, it's, that's obviously the way it's supposed to be sculpted, but it just looks like it's a physical piece and it doesn't look like it's a statue. It looks like it's a suit. It's believable. Um, unlike some of the Bowen pieces where it looks like it's just bits of sculpt attached to a costume, this really captures it in a real lifelike way. and. It, that's why I love about this piece. It just makes it look so lifelike. Um, you go down like some of like the wrinkles in the shorts there, um, and on the flip side again, just perfect. And the paint application to add the shading in the dark and dark spots, the pants, the abs, and areas of the head, just great. Um, again, going down to the boots, the material on the boots looks realistic. I buy it. It's not like sculpt. It looks like cloth even though it is sculpt. And then back of the base you have that Magneto helmet which a lot of people say should be on the front. Uh, I do agree but I think it serves more of an like easter egg piece than an actual um, part of the statue because otherwise if it was on the front it would kind of take away from Cyclops because you would be saying oh is that Magneto's helmet? Um, great. I, I, love, I, I just love having it there. And it's even sculpted geniusly too. Um, it has the rocks on the inside. You can't probably see from the camera, so I'll get again a few close-up pictures. Um, painted, painted great. Um, no errors. Perfect. Then at the very bottom, you have the rock base. Um, I love the rock base. Some people complain that it's not the X base, so it doesn't go with the Colossus, the Psylocke, or the Rogue. But if you look uh, look at it now, it wasn't if it wasn't designed to be a full lineup, like. This piece, Cyclops, came out before the Psylocke and before the Rogue. So at that point, and I think even below the Colossus, before the Colossus piece, uh, I'm not too sure on that. 
But at that point, you had the Wolverine, which was a rock base, and you had Sabretooth, which debatably is an X Men. It also had the rock base. Um, so I don't think it's a big deal to complain about. And I'll give you one more spin around of the piece so you can get some capture Cyclops in his, in his full glory there. Like, like I said, um, my favorite piece in my collection, and I got mine at a local store on sale a while back for 350 bucks, which is, I think, the perfect place to pay for this piece. Um, if you can still find him out there, get him. Uh, he came out in 2011, so he's kind of a harder piece to find. Um, I, of course, have the regular, not the exclusive. The exclusive has the, un, like the plain head with the old sunglasses and the alternate hand. Which is cool, but I think that the sculpting was a bit off on that head anyway. So I'm not really bummed about missing out on the exclusive on that one. If you can find them for under $400, get them for sure. And I'm in Canada, so that's Canadian. The price may be different in the US, I have not checked. But yeah, this is Cyclops, and hope you guys enjoy. I'll be back with probably a rogue review soon. Around the last turn of the piece. Oh, just uh, one final quick thing. Um, more of a complaint on mine. The magnet on his detachable arm, which is on this side, came loose really, really fast. Um, I was originally just playing him without the jacket, and came down one stairs. Came, came downstairs one day. Sorry, to see in my in my best that his arm had fallen off completely. Uh, I'm not sure if we had something move down here, or what happened, or if I attached the arm stunningly enough, but his arm had dropped, so just a quick warning to anyone who, ha who is thinking about buying one that doesn't have one already, um, that has had one that's sitting in store for a while like mine, the magnet may be a little off on it, so just watch out. Um, other than that, no complaints whatsoever, great piece, fantastic sculpt, pick him up if you have a chance. Later guys, this is Remy LaRogue, signing off.